Hey, what up you guys? It's Danny B. You're watching the Trash Dish. And in this video, I got a uh, birthday DVD and Blu-ray haul. And even a VHS tape, which I'll get to. But, um, yeah, here's what I got. First up, I got uh, Scars of Dracula on Blu-ray. I had the VHS, um, the DVD. I mean, the Blu-ray looks way better, though. One of my favorite Hammer Dracula movies. Um, it's kind of... Th watching it this time is a little cheesier than I remember, but it's still pretty cool. Scars of Dracula. Next up, I got, um... A four-pack DVD of all the uh, Dust Till Dawn movies. Believe it or not, I didn't own any of these, so this was cool that they had this, like, the whole series on one uh, one multi-pack. From Dust Till Dawn, Full Tilt Boogie, Dust Till Dawn 2, and Dust Till Dawn 3. I think that's all of them. Let me know if there's any more, and let me know which one is the best out of all of these. All right, then from um, a thrift shop, I went thrifting on my uh, birthday. Got Silent Rage, Chuck Norris... Um, classic one. I had that one on VHS too, but just seeing it there for, you know, like a dollar fifty, I was like, all right, let me get the DVD of it. House of Wax. I've actually been looking for like a cheap copy of this. I haven't seen this one since it came out in the theaters. I saw this when it first came out. I don't really remember anything from it other than the chicken or fingers cut off. I heard somewhere that this was going to be a remake of Tourist Trap, so I'm interested in, um, re-watching it this time and seeing if I see any similarities between this and a uh, Taurus Trap more than like the actual House of Wax movie. All right, then I got VHS 94, which is really actually a fun uh, VHS sequel. Maybe even my favorite out of the, all the uh, VHS movies so far that I've seen. But I know they got a new one out, so I gotta watch that one too, VHS 99. Then I got this uh, Canon 5 film collection. Some of these I had already, like I had Cobra and um, Over the Top already. But you got Masters of the Universe, which I've never seen with Dolph Lunger and Bloodsport, which is an absolute classic that I've never seen, actually, so I gotta check that one out. And then I got it mainly for the Hitman with Chuck Norris. This is only, like, $6 for all five of these movies, so that's a great deal. And it's not like they're all on one DVD. It's got all five DVDs on there. Um, a couple more from the thrift shop that I found. <laughs> bling Bling. I have no idea what the fuck this is. He's got the biggest rock of them all. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, yeah. Looks like a super cheesy hood movie. Yeah. Maybe even a horror movie. I don't know. Um, I found this one. This looked kind of cool. Cross Bronx. Some kind of like gangster movie. Starring um, the dude from, uh, what's his, from Entourage. Turtle, I think his name is in that show. And I think this guy might be uh, Abel Ferrara's relative or something. Because... He's in the background of Bad Lieutenant in one scene, and his name is Jerry Ferrara, so could be. And then I also found uh, Mel Gibson's Apocalypto, which I've never seen, and I've heard this is really hard to find, so I picked it up. Then I looked it up on eBay, and it's actually, you could get it for like five bucks, so it's not as rare as someone was saying it was, but still, I'm sure it's probably pretty good. Mel Gibson's a good director. All right, then I stopped by the Red Box. I got two movies. I got The Batman, uh, you know, the new one. I haven't seen it yet, so... That was cool. This is only like three fifty too. And then Black Phone. This Black Phone movie was actually pretty cool. I like the concept of it. Um, yeah, not too bad. All right, then last up, this is definitely the coolest thing I got in this whole haul. Erotic Hill on VHS. A big box VHS of it. Um, I ordered this on the Full Moon. Uh, full Moon was doing their sale. They are selling it for 20 bucks. I know it's, you know, a reprint. Charles Band, like, reprinted all these big boxes and tried to sell them like he found them in a warehouse which i know it's not you know really what it is but it's still it looks amazing like it looks as good as like the old ones i have one of the old ones so this is like my holy grail and my whole uh jess franco collection now one of my favorite jess franco movies which is also known as uh female vampire but i like the name erotic hill way better and just this artwork is so badass and just this whole thing looks great on my shelf. And what's cool is it actually does have the VHS in there. Like I put it in my VCR and it worked. It played and everything. Yeah, so here's what comes inside of it. You get a black clamshell case. And then the movie with like the sticker or rod of kill on there. It plays fine and everything. It's, um, you know, it's pretty bad quality. But, you know, it, I do have it on uh, Blu-ray also. But yeah, I pretty much got this thing just to put it on my shelf and display it. Because, I, you know, I'm a huge Jess Franco fan. So. Hey right, guys, that's going to do it. That was my little birthday haul. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your favorite one out of all of these was. This is Danny B. You're watching the Trash Dish. Hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.